Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So this is the Audi RS Q8, the most expensive car to wear an RS badge. And here's the CarWow top 10 things you need to know about it. So this is the key thing you need to know about this car, that engine. It's a four litre twin turbo V8, 600 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, drives all four wheels by an eight speed automatic gearbox. It also has mild hybrid technology, which should help improve the fuel economy. Though you're gonna be doing well to be getting over 25 miles per gallon out of this thing. Obviously being an RS car, there's some serious styling upgrades. You've got the RS badging. This one has the carbon pack on it, so you've got carbon elements around the place. You've also got a bigger rear bumper with a fake diffuser. There's some fake vents there, but these exhaust pipes, they're not fake. They're absolutely massive. As you move down the side, you'll see that the wheel arches are actually wider than the standard Q8. They're blistered. Wheel sizes start at 22 inches, but go up to 23 inches, which are the biggest fitted to any Audi ever. You've got the carbon pack on the door mirrors. Moving around the front, you've got some RS specific lights, and then you've got this big RS grill here. We've got the carbon pack livening up the grill surround there a bit. It's quite a mean looking thing, especially in this green. It's like the Hulk. Let's talk about the performance figures, because for a car that's as spacious as this and so good for families, it has insane performance. 0 to 60 is 3.8 seconds. Top speed is limited to 155 miles an hour, though you can pay to have that extended up to 190 miles an hour. This is actually the fastest SUV ever around the Nürburgring. It did a time of seven minutes, 42 seconds, blooming quick. I just thought I'd show you the boot of the RS Q8. It's like the normal Q8, so we've got some car covers in there. What's more important though is the price. So this thing is gonna start at 110,000 pounds, pretty expensive then. Plus if you spend a few options, you're gonna be looking at around 130,000 pounds. If you wanna see how much you can save on a new car, click on the pop-out banner up there to check out the best deals, leasing deals, finance deals, used car offers, and to generally compare any car you want to at carwow.com. The RS Q8 gets a proper quattro all-wheel drive system. So by that I mean it has a Torsen Limited slip differential in the middle and it will run along at 60% of the power to the back, 40% to the front in normal conditions, but it can send a maximum of 85% of the power to the rear wheels and 70% to the front depending on the conditions. If you're worried about this big thing being difficult to manoeuvre at low speeds, don't worry because it comes with rear wheel steering as standard. Then when you're going faster, the rear wheels turn in the same direction as the front to improve your high speed stability. The RS Q8 gets air suspension as standard, though it's slightly stiffer and lower than the normal air suspension on the Q8. Obviously you can do things like raise it up and put in different modes, such as all-road for a bit of off-road activity, or off-road for some more serious off-road activity. Though when you're driving along, the air suspension will automatically drop when you go at higher speeds by 10 millimeters to improve aerodynamics and your top speed. Another thing this car has is active anti-roll bars. So when you're driving through corners, they're engaged to stop the car rolling, keep it nice and flat. Then when you're just driving along in a straight line, they actually detach from the wheels, so the wheels are free to then move around over bumps. That helps improve the comfort. The main upgrades here on the interior are the sport seats. Obviously you've got RS logo on them, they're soft valve kind of leather, they have the honeycomb pattern as well. This car's also got contrasting stitching. You've got an RS steering wheels, flat bottom with the RS logo on it. Bit disappointed the paddle shifters feel like a touch on the cheap side for such an expensive car. Other RS touches are the red surround for the starter button and you also get some specific RS logos for the infotainment system. This thing has some massive brakes. So as standard, you have 420 millimeter discs up front and that's the steel disc. However, you can upgrade to these carbon ceramics and then you have a diameter of 440 millimeters and they're gripped by 10 pot calipers. They should be strong, but they need to be because this is quick and quite heavy. 
the RSQ8 gets matrix LED headlights as standard, so they can blank out part of their beam so you don't dazzle oncoming drivers. Also, when you turn the car on, it does like this kind of clever little display to welcome you to the vehicle. And finally, you've got scrolling indicators there, which makes it a little bit clearer for people to see which way you're turning. The RSQ8 gets matrix LED headlights as standard, so they... Matrix, matrix yeah. Oh. Another thing this car gets... Another thing this car gets is active anti-roll bars. So basically what they can do is when you're driving along on a twisty road, they're in... Oh.